Hello guys! So before we get to work, I'm gonna move the machine as far back as I can and we will go from there. So in that box we have the winks that I'm gonna install here. So let's see what we got here. Some toilet paper. Oh. The control with the uh, wire. Some uh, wire for the power. Okay, we have this control unit or box or whatever you want to call that. Then we have those rollers some nuts and bolts and washers and obviously the winch itself it is rather heavy I would say And yeah, that's pretty much all that's in the box. Obviously, as I said in my previous video, I want to integrate this kind of into the frame a little bit. So I'll be cutting quite a bit of this frame away and redesigning this a little bit. So. If I did it something like that, and uh, yeah, I don't really like that option. It's sticking out too much. Now I'm gonna scratch my head a little bit, and yeah, quite quite some bit. I'm gonna think up a plan, and we will go from there, mates. Held in with pure will. And now we will plasma cut this.
definitely recommend buying one of those, even those cheap plasma cutters. I got this thing for under 200 euros. So I think that is a very good deal, man. Looks like that. There is a uh, more work to that later. Now I have this piece made. That's enough for me to fabricate those parts now. Those have slight bends that makes it more rigid. Now I can remove the winch and uh, mark the bolt holes for mounting the winch. I'm gonna drill the holes and then I can weld this in front of here. Thirty seven by nine it is. And that's correct also, so very nice. I can now drill those.
So now I can weld this part on here. Weld it all around from the inside as well. Did a little bit grinding on that thing and also drilled the hole here. It serves two purposes. One is if any water will get into this thing it can drain out of that hole and also on the winch the ground wire connects here and that is the bottom actually so i can get to that nut and what i also did is i drilled and tap those holes for this thing and next I can weld this thing to the machine and get the frame complete again <laughs> Got this all welded in, also from the inside, all underneath is welded all around, also welded here this uh, metal bar and my blade will attach to this which will cover the sole up. Let's also mount those rollers temporarily, kind of loosely in here. Now we're gonna start making paper templates here. Now I verify that everything is gonna fit. Then use my template to make that sheet metal work around this area here. Uh, plus I'm gonna do some work down here on the, those corners as well. So I'm gonna remove the winch.
Oh, this is now welded in and I also grinded it. The rest of the finish work I will do when I get to the bodywork stage. So for now this this central part is done. Next time I'm gonna add a little lip here so it will cover this up and so that no rainwater or whatnot can get into my frame. Now I'm gonna let the paint dry and then we can weld those parts in as well. Now the bad thing is that we ran out of welding wire. But the good thing is that Luckily, I bought a new one the other day, 0 0.8 millimeters. And we got wire through, that's nice. And we can continue welding now. Mark and cut the final shape to those. I got all this file down quite nice, I must say I'm very pleased with how it came out. Looking sweet. 